Hey everybody, my name is Alex with Hake Hardware, and in this video we are going to go over how to install Grafana on Windows 11. And before we jump in, I just want to cover that there are two versions of Grafana. There's an open source, it's labeled OSS, and there's an enterprise version. They're both free, they both have the same features. The only difference is the enterprise version can be upgraded if you ever purchase a license. So if you don't plan on purchasing a license, you can go ahead and just install the open source version and you will be fine. So to get started, we are going to go to the Grafana downloads page and I'm going to switch over to a different window here. I'm going to be following this wiki page, which is linked in the description of the video. And everything is basically just a copy paste or um, clicking links in here. So. Let's jump over to our Windows desktop and we're going to bring up our browser and we are going to go to the Grafana downloads page. And I already have in the URL here, platform is Windows, edition is OSS. So I'm just going to hit enter there. And I want the, whatever the latest version is. So 11.3.0 might be different uh, when you're going through this. I want Windows and I want OSS. If you wanted Enterprise, you could select it here. And I'm going to go with the MSI installer. It's actually really easy. Uh, I already have a copy of it here, so I'm just going to delete that. And we're just going to run that installer. And it's going to take a minute, but this basically will install Grafana as a service. You can do all of the defaults here. There's nothing that really needs to be configured until after we do the install. So just accept this, let it go ahead and perform the install. And what's cool about this is as soon as it's finished, we're going to be able to actually go to the Grafana locally hosted web front end and start working with Grafana. So it's super quick. As you can see, we're already done. And if I open up a browser, and I go to localhost 3000, maybe, there we go, localhost 3000. So the service is started, we're good to go. And one thing is port 3000, if you do like development or you are running a lot of services, 3000 can get a little bit busy, so I prefer to install Grafana on a different port. So to do that, what we're going to need to do is open up Notepad as an admin and then make a new file called a custom.ini in the Grafana config directory. Now this is super easy, but there are a few steps. So uh, if you don't have Notepad pop up right away, you can just type in Notepad right click run as administrator just click yes to accept that and actually it's has a few things open already we're going to start fresh so what we're going to do is open so file open and this is already because i did it in the past uh it's already going to the right folder but you're going to go to localhost or like let's say we're starting from this pc you're going to go to your c drive program files grafana labs grafana conf and then down here in the bottom right you're going to do all files and you're going to find this sample file down here and then we're going to click open now we need to make one change here and that's going to be the port so down here where you see http port we're going to delete the semicolon that's leading the http port variable here and then instead of 3000, put whatever you want. I like to do 9999 for Grafana. And then we're going to do file, save as. And then we're going to do custom.ini. And then one more step, we're going to change this to all files, or else it's going to save it as a text file. It'll be weird. It'll be like custom.ini.txt. It's, it's a pain. And once that custom file is done, we'll click save. Now we can close out a notepad, and we can... Then go to our search bar and we can type in services.msc and hit enter. And this is going to bring up all of our running services and we're going to need to find Grafana. So we're going to scroll down, scroll down. Basically for the changes to take effect, we need to restart the Grafana service. So you can either right click and do restart or you could click restart over here. You can see 
it is restarting and we'll give it like a second here we'll close this and we should be able to go to port 9999 and now we have grafana running on port 9999 so now we have a new port okay so to set it up and get in we're going to use admin and admin these are the default for a fresh installation we're going to want to update that default password though to something a little bit more secure which you're going to be prompted to do as soon as you click log in so we're logging in and it's saying hey you need a new password so i'm just going to type in a very insecure password here and then click submit if you try to skip it it's just going to force you to do it again next time so just change the password click submit uh, i'm not going to save the password you can if you want and that's it you're in so at this point you can basically start adding your data sources you can start importing dashboards you can do everything you need to do with grafana it's running locally as a service when you restart windows it's going to start up automatically and you're going to have that available for you whenever you need it so hopefully this video was helpful if it was leave a like and i'll see you in the next one